New at 10 o'clock tonight and only on two, a neighborhood crime alert. Fake contractors distracting homeowners, luring them outside so other thieves can then go in the home and steal. Channel 2 anchor Jonathan Martinez live near Jersey Village tonight with this thievery technique. Jonathan? Yeah, Dominique and the elderly victims in this case say not only did these thieves steal their jewelry from them, but they also stole their sense of security. That is why they want you to pay very close attention to that image right there. They say that is a getaway vehicle that these thieves got away in. This is really the crime scene. The robbery only took less than five minutes, but when it was over, the thieves stole nearly $40,000 in jewelry. You need to be really careful about the people you open your door to. Too concerned for their safety to share their identity, the elderly couple says a crime was carried out while they were deliberately distracted following a knock at the door. Went to the door. And the guy wasn't standing right at the front of the door. He was way out, probably 10 foot out. The man at the door claimed he was repairing the sprinkler system at the couple's next door neighbor and needed access to the yard from their backyard. As the husband led the man to the back, his wife went inside, leaving the front door unlocked for her husband to return through. The wheels began to fall off of the story, talking about how deep down they were going to have to dig. I went out the back door because they'd been out there for what I considered to be a long time. After the worried wife, still suspicious of the man, went back inside the home, that's when she found three other men inside side who quickly rushed out. I screamed, what are you doing in my house? And they shot out of there like a bullet. In all, three rings were stolen, along with nearly a thousand bucks in cash. The victims say one of their neighbors managed to snap this picture of the suspect's getaway car and the driver as they sped off. They're still on the run. It gets to you that somebody with some sleazeball like that would get to you, get in your house and steal your stuff. And the victims did follow a report with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Anyone with information in this case is urged to contact authorities. We are reporting live tonight for Northwest Harris County. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thanks.